Welcome back everyone. I am sure everyone has heard about ChatGPT by OpenAI. Almost everyone is using that these days. And with the release of ChatGPT, there was a big discussion about how AI is gonna replace certain job roles in certain sectors. And I saw this thread on Twitter where few people in the infosec industry was discussing which roles will be firstly eliminated by AI. And uh, one of these job roles, as I discussed, was junior analyst roles. Because in junior analyst roles, the output would be something like a generic analysis on a customer query. So uh, I thought to myself, so can't we do that already because we have ChatGPT. So let's see if we can do that using XOR and ChatGPT. To do this, we have to create an integration because there is no out of the box integration for ChatGPT in Cortex XOR. Uh, in Palo Alto documentation, there is one uh, great tutorial that you can follow and understand how integrations are working in Palo Alto. XO context. Uh, this is called Yoda speak. So what I did was I took this integration and changed it according to my needs. So I will do a little bit of work through of my code but fair warning this can get a little bit boring <laughs> and you will need a basic understanding of Python to follow this through. So let's jump into that one. So we will head over to settings and bring your own integration. This is the, you know, the basic hello world integration that we will do. So we'll rename this to chat GPT. And this integration will answer to customer queries okay so we don't need the logo just yet and it does not fetch incidents the parameters what we need are this one it's mostly used in threat intel URL we need this one and max fetch no incident fetching here API key yes but we will do this as authentication and not this display password and here we have to put where you API key threshold IP no need domain no alerts we are not pulling any alerts insecure yes this one we have to keep and the initial value B is true and proxy initial value is false no incident fetching so we will have our URL to do the API call to chat GPT and API key to auth authenticate and these two to handle if there are any proxies or TLS issues. And from here we can see the detailed instructions. You can add this, edit this to describe what this integration does so we have commands no we don't need anything the only command for right now will be user question it's not potentially harmful and there will be text argument which is the question itself 
and it is mandatory no initial values are there and second argument is called token this will define the answer from chat gpt how descriptive it is because this token amount of token decides the character length of the answer from the chat gpt side and they will define the api usage according to the token usage let's put initial value 50 because if anyone doesn't want to define the token value we can just send this initial value 50 okay we are good to go from this side we will save the version now we can see our chat gpt integration so now all we are missing is the code for the integration so we will move on to that one and on the left side you can see the chat gpt integration that i changed the code to because we don't have to reinvent the wheel uh, so the class client this class is solely responsible for the api call that we make to the open ai as you can see here we are defining the headers API key header and the content type and rest of the API call is defined here with the method URL suffix and JSON data so the model that we are using is text DaVinci 003 and max tokens we can define that one next we have our test module when you click that button in the integration to test this integration this is the function that would be executed so what it basically does is it sends a test query to chat gpt called hi chat gpt with 50 token answer and it checks if it receives any response from the chat gpt because the response is a JSON object, so we can call it like this. You can use the demistop get function as well, but in this case, it didn't work for me, so I used uh, this method to do that. And if this is, you know, not coming, then we will throw an error. So user can know that if it, do, it is not working. And it will check also for authorization error the API key is incorrect or account is revoked, something like that. So finally, we have the command, the user question command that we previously defined and its arguments. There are two arguments. One is text and the other one is tokens. So these parts are self-explanatory and output we are defining in the context of the XOR what will be the keys inside the context. So here it will be question and answer. Question will be the original text that we submit and answer will be the response from the chat GPT. Uh, return command results. This is also defining the context in the XOR. This last variable is related to the war room entry. So we are doing it as in markdown format. We will convert the JSON, which is the output that coming from the ChatGPT to markdown. So users can understand and see properly. That this is the main function that will be executed when we submit the command. So it will check if it's a command or if it's a test module. And according to that, it will execute the previous class that we defined so you can see here if we submit the command user question it will go and execute the function called user questions with these arguments basically these arguments will take any amount of arguments that we pass into this function so here we are taking these from the demistore integration 
these are the parameters arguments and the command it is out of the box libraries that are defined from the demonstrator themselves and we are setting these ones into false because that is the different behavior of the integration and if you're wondering if this what this demonstrator debug does it's in case if it doesn't work then we can uh, debug this integration and see what is happening inside so it will print it there not in the war room or the context directly so we will take this code settings chat gpt paste it a version code added we will go here and i will add my API key this one you can get it from OpenAI after making an account and the URL for this is openai.com trust any certificate okay everything looks good now let's do a test well seems like it works We'll save this and exit. Here we can test it out. Let's give this in playground. Access tokens. I think we are getting this error because our argument name is different than the variable that we defined here. So it is tokens and we defined tokens. So we'll go to command question. We will tend it to S profession update integration nice it works so now it's giving the answer no which is cr32 is not malicious but you know it can be used for malicious software which is a malicious dlls this is a short answer because we gave only 50 tokens for it to answer so you can define it in the bigger amount it will give a more descriptive ones if you want uh, now let's check it in the playbook so here we have it already defined it's just a hat gpt and we are giving 20 tokens we'll execute this done and open debugger panel here we have chat gpt context and phrase answer and question i hope you enjoyed this short video so if you want to learn more about creating integrations there are great resources from palo alto site i will leave the links in the description if you want to check it out and for the code of this integration i will put it on github and share the link in the description as well as always thank you for joining stay subscribed